Good morning, my name is Whitney Valkowitz, President and CEO of Intelligent Concrete, and today it is Durability Thursday. Is this going up tomorrow? No. Okay. Durability Thursday, um, and today we're going to be going over the C1012, which is sulfate resistant. So that is a test where you are placing uh, mortar beams in a sulfate bath, and you measure them at different intervals over like 12 to 18 months. It's a really one of those really long-term durability tests. So, and you're measuring the length change or the shrinkage of these beams, just how they react to uh, to this kind of aggressive environment. So, we're going to be going over the actual steps of how to do that today. So, stay tuned, enjoy. All right, so here we're mixing up uh, sodium sulfate. So we're taking a powder, and this powder you can actually even just order on Amazon, so it's super easy. Um, you're mixing up 50 grams of that and then filling up the remainder of a liter with just tap water. So you're gonna mix that up, um, stir that up based on how much you need for your sample set, and then you're just gonna mix it until the water is clear. Then you're gonna do a pH reading to make sure that it's um, within that standard of the spec. I believe it's between seven and nine, if I remember correctly. So you're gonna mix that up, then once you have that ready, you're gonna go ahead and start measuring your samples. So we have the uh, length comparometer. Um, you're gonna do a tear before each, every single bar. Um, your tear should stay the same or roughly the same, but you just wanna confirm that every time. Um, we've had issues before where a screw gets loose and then your tear gets off. So that's just kind of a check and balance to make sure that everything is, is right on and you're getting the accurate measurements every time. So you're gonna do your tear, you're gonna gently remove your bar from your sodium sulfate bath. Um, just kind of wipe it off a little bit, very gently, just with a clean towel. And then you're gonna do your measurements. So you're gonna go through your entire sample set and um, yeah, just record your tear and your measurement for each one. And that's done at specific intervals during the test, um, you know, per the ASTM. And if you're lucky like me, you've got a Haley recording the data with you, so. Then you're gonna go ahead and each time you do a measurement, you actually have to swap out your sodium sulfate. So you're gonna dump out the old stuff, then you're gonna measure in the right amount depending on the samples that you have. Um, yeah, and then you put in the new batch of solution so and yeah, then put them back wherever you're storing them. Thank you so much for joining us for Durability Thursday for our C1012. If you have any questions, just throw them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go Concrete! Be yeah, asphalt. Awesome.